Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Dynasty Warrior A Extreme Legends in Story Mode. We continue with Zhuge Dan's Rebellion. So, we'll be playing this one as Jia Chong. We're using him for the first time, and we can talk about why this rebellion happened, because the game does a very poor job of framing it. Seems like Zhuge Dan's just really sad that Sima Shi died, and now he's rebelling, which is super confusing. But really, what's been happening is ever since the attempt by Cao Fang, the previous emperor, to kill Sima Shi, working with people like Xia Hou Xuan. And when that plot failed and Xia Hou Xuan got executed, and followed that with the uh, abdication of the emperor, swapping to Cao Mao, most of the officers that were loyal to the Wei court, to the Cao clan, became rather disillusioned. We've seen a couple of rebellions related to that already. In this case, Zhuge Dan was the general who conquered the east. He was in charge of the eastern front. He was stationed in Shouchun after uh, Guan Qiujian and uh, Wen Qing's rebellion failed. And he was one of the biggest regional warlords. Each of the general who conquer certain direction, north, west, east, south, held important roles in the court. And when Sima Zhao took over after his brother's death, uh, Jia Chong actually came up to him and said, you know, send me out there to visit each of the four generals and I'm going to ask them about how they feel about the Sima clan in a sense that what if the Sima clan usurped and replaced Wei? Because it was getting pretty apparent. Sima Zhao was getting Jiu Xi or the Nai Bestelment. He was getting his own kingdom, Kingdom of Jin. Or princedom, I guess, princedom of Jin, uh, which was unprecedentedly huge. It was, I think, 700 square. I guess it wouldn't be kilometers, but whatever unit li uh, that they were using, uh, it was a huge area of land given over to him, and all signs pointed to the fact that he was going to usurp. So, when Jia Chong visited Zhuge Dan, the two of them talked about it, and Zhuge Dan was pretty open about supporting the Tall Clan and that if it came down to that, he would uh, side with the Tall Clan and fight the Sima Clan. Now why, you, if you're thinking why would he tell this straight up to Jia Chong? Uh, that's because Jia Chong's father was very famous for being a Tall Loyalist and everyone's super shocked that the son, uh, Jia Chong, can turn out to be such a pro Sima Clan member. But uh, after hearing that conversation, Jia Chong pretty much uh, told it to Sima Zhao, and the two of them hashed out a plan to try to sort of force Zhuge Dan to rebel. Uh, they don't want him to be holding the position of general who conquered the east, controlling the armies in the Yang province so close to Wu. So they offered him a Grand Excellency position, hoping that he would take it and come to court. If he did take it, they wouldn't kill him. He would just basically be a man without military control uh, in the court. But Zhuge Dan knew this was the plot, and after receiving this uh, edict, he prepared to rebel. And the two of them knew that this is probably what would happen, and they felt this was the best approach in terms of damage control. Because if Zhuge Dan rebelled at a time frame that's not within their control, it could be a lot more damaging if he has time to team up with Wu, if he has time to team up with other generals who might also share his feelings towards the Sima clan. So they isolated him and forced him to rebel first, which gives them the right to put him down. And that's exactly what will happen. Now, Zhong Hui, all these characters here actually do participate in this battle, and Wu finally send reinforcements. Uh, even though the reinforcements were all beaten back and uh, in the end they didn't actually help but uh, it harmed the situation because uh, first Zhu Yi's army got beaten back and then the Quan clan because at this moment what happened down south is Sun Jun who replaced Zhuge Ke as the regent was hated on by a lot of the kids of Sun Quan and they tried to kill him when it failed he was punishing a lot of them including Sun Ruban, uh, the daughter of Sun Quan, she got exiled. 
and her kids, uh, the Chuen clan, basically were afraid for their lives because they were protecting their mother going up against this powerful region. So a few of them actually surrendered to Wei and joined the Wei forces. And when uh, they were trying to ask Zhuge Dan to kind of surrender the city when it was sieging, they marched the Chuen clan out there, showing the city that the Wu side has already surrendered and it just shattered their morale. And there's also a couple other things, uh, such as a drought. Usually, uh, there will be heavy rain during the summer season, and Zhuge Dan was counting on that to flood Sima Zhao's army. That didn't work, and uh, because there was an unprecedented drought that year, and the day the city actually fell, it finally rained. Uh, it's a really sad story there, but um, we'll be playing this one out and see how it goes. We haven't played as Jia Chong yet. He uses throwing axes, and we actually have this version here, uh, sort of unique. I think we'll use this despite it being a tier 2, and then we'll use a tier 3 to complement the other one. And Wen Qing is actually still in this battle. Wen Qing and Zhuge Dan argued over the ration system inside the city and Zhuge Dan eventually killed Wen Qing, which is actually why Wen Yang and Wen Hu, uh, Wen, Wen Qing's two sons, surrendered back to Wei. Not like how we saw it earlier, where the repeated attacks kind of failed and then they just rejoined, abandoned his father. That's not what happened. It's because during this rebellion, when Wen Qing was still in the area helping out Zhuge Dan, they argued and once you know, Zhuge Dan killed him, uh, the sons went back to Wei. You can rest easy now that I'm we might hit level 25 during this battle. Wen Qin, after you fled to Wu, I never thought I would see you again. <laughs> Had enough of wagging your tail for Suma Zhao, eh? <clears throat> oh, the Suma are our enemy. Let's just use each other and leave it at that. My lord, this is for you. This is from the Emperor? My path, it is clear. I shall stake everything I have on defeating Suma Chao and saving Wei. The Emperor never contacted him. There was no such thing. Zhuge Dan has made contact with Wen Jin. And? The Emperor has also sent him a secret missive. <laughs> You're dismissed, my lord. <laughs> Our enemies are all together. That'll save us some time. Tell us, have you found anything out? Okay, reporting sort of defection. That's okay. I mean, Zhuge Dan was very popular in this area. The people loved him. He was a very good ruler for the people of Yan province. He had huge popular support. He had support of his troop. Even after he died and he had his you know close personal guards lined up in a row, and the Wei forces were asking them to surrender and return to the service, they would refuse. They would execute one in front of everyone else and then ask the question to the next person. And that person would also refuse until all of them got killed because they were very loyal to uh, Zhuge Dan. They'd rather die with him than surrender back to Wei. Uh, so it's pretty extreme. But Zhuge Dan's family ended up very well because his oldest son, he sent him as sort of a hostage to Wu to get reinforcements, allowing him to basically survive this encounter and live and become official for Wu. His oldest daughter is married to Sima Shi's younger brother. So she was fine, actually. They had three kids, and Zhuge Dan's great grandson from that daughter would end up being Sima Rui, or the first emperor of the Eastern Jin, after Jin gets savaged by the Normads, and they basically rebuild the Eastern Jin, and he was the founding emperor of the Eastern Jin. So the family made out all right. It's not so bad. Now, 
for every other member in the family who was with him here, they all got killed. But um, uh, those that either married away or were sent away uh, did fairly well. All right, let's chat. Yeah, Zhonghui is starting to show a lot of his devious plans. I think he was... He, oh. This is actually historically true. She met Zhonghui once, and after that one meeting, she told Sima Zhao, be careful, he's going to betray you. But Zhonghui is the one who came up with the plan. Let's, let's use the Quan siblings to lower the morale of the people inside, because Zhuge Dan was really hoping to get a massive Wu reinforcement and he wouldn't, you know, try to break out the siege before that, thinking that, you know, if he stayed in Shouchun, Wu knows where to find him. Now, Emperor Tomal is actually pretty interesting. He had guts, but he wasn't involved in this rebellion. We'll see him very soon, I'm sure. Strange man? Is that a spy? Yeah, Drudan was a very kind man. That that much is true. But it had nothing to do with Smash's death sparking a rebellion. They have Sima Zhao as a very nice boy, but um, there's no reason to believe any of that was true. Let's get going. Juga Don, what are you up to? Never mind. We need to focus on putting down this rebellion. Hmm. You must not AOE your as well. Zhao. Juga Don betrayed you. He betrayed us all. what? So we we're gonna see a lot of Wu forces again. I think they're just gonna What's lump the them together. You lost, you poor the rebellion group. Take out the bridge. Dividing the enemy will give us a chance to claim victory. Uh, the bridge is where's down. The, where's the horse? Then we'll have to find another way around. I guess we're going. The bridge is destroyed. Okay. They're here. It's time to put Tang Zi, Tang Zi was inside the castle. Understood. He was a full reinforcement that came early. We must destroy the Wei forces. I think he died during the breakout when they attempted it near the end. Not sure if he actually died or not, but I know he was inside during the siege. We have no choice but to divide our forces in two as well. Zhong Hui and I will take care of the fire archers on the clifftop. Zhao Chong, you and Yuanji keep fighting off the enemy ambush unit. Wait, I want to kill the guys on top too. We killed the it units down here. Resistance is futile. Shibo actually is the one who beat back Zhuyi's reinforcement. Oh, uh, Zhuyi, wait, Zhuyi was right here. Wait, he just disappeared. I just saw his name. This is a weird move. Lord Suma Zhao has requested that the secondary unit continue advancing along the bottom of the cliff. So Zhao's unit is dealing with the enemies on the cliff top. I guess that makes us the decoys then. Wait, he might be down there, but there's a general here I want to kill first, and I'll jump down. The enemy has reached the bottom of the cliff. Prepare the rocks. We're being attacked by enemies on the cliff top. We'd better watch out. Not as good as the, the regular one. Our secondary unit appears to have silenced the enemy attack. All right, let's go back. I think we can play just jump down from this bridge. 
Yep. You'll soon regret coming out here alone. Such great strength. Mm, pretty good chain. For now. Oh, is this? Is nope. I know we saw Juyi for a second there. I don't know where he went. Seed like this. It is imperative that we destroy those weapons. This should be fun. I'll let you go for now. Don't think you've won. How unfortunate for you. <laughs> So how did our allies just walk past these guys and didn't I'll kill them? You go for now. Don't think you won. How unfortunate for you. I'm just gonna ignore these, kill the general who controls them. I'm going to have your head. Okay, they're not ignoring me though. Perfect. You sure know how to fight. This is all too easy. I right, was supposed to take this point, I think. It appears that resistance is huge. And there should be a trap waiting for us or something. Or we'll just open up this bridge. There's no gatekeeper or anything like that. How do we get the bridge to open? Did we miss a general? Or do we have to control those um, machines that we saw on the way? Maybe we have to destroy these on the bottom? This should be fun. I don't want to shoot me. Maybe that's the trick. I am impressed you made it this far. Ah, there we but go. I can't let you go any further. Ruin Ding Feng. Let's see what this does. It shall be my pleasure to face you in battle. Still much I need to accomplish. I shall withdraw for now. This is all too easy. You always do what is asked of you. A lot of people here. Although it should be a given. Let me grab Are these first. Nonetheless. I was overmatched. I must report back to Lord Su Chen. How could my tactics fail like that? Good. We're reunited again. All right, the Chen clan. Right? Not the entire Chen clan were punished. Just a few of them that try to protect. The, basically, the sons I'm of Sun Wuban. We're on the same side. I'll let you go for Which now. made it even Don't more awkward you when you know Wei started parading them around, because then the others who were still on the other side hard to explain the situation. I mean, Sun Wuban had it easy. Sun Wu, the her sister, got killed after supporting the group that now. tried Don't to kill Sun Jun. Alright, we're gonna cross the bridge. Our enemies are powerful. They have gotten past all of our traps. How dare you come and tell me of your defeat? Your incompetence brings shame to all of Wu. Master Ju Yi was executed by Lord Sun Chen. I'm not about to let the same thing happen to us. 
defections. Yep, those two twin brothers. I mean, that's not the reason why they defected, but um, like I said, it has to do with their mother. And will any of these actually open doors? We'll do anything. Please allow us to join your forces. These soldiers should help us to crush the enemy. That should really be Zhonghui's line. But this was Zhonghui's idea. Doing so should persuade them to join our cause. Alright, I'm here. I can't allow any more defections. I'd better send a warning to my remaining officers. It seems soon Chen Are they gonna open the door? Messenger. Eliminate him before he can cause us any problems. Okay. Where is this messenger gonna come out of? He's inside. I can't reach him. Oh, this is weird. Is there a path here that I can... Maybe he'll jump down and I just wait for him here? There's no way I can jump up. Oh yeah, he's jumping down. Come on, what are you waiting for? Let's get this fight started. Blocking all day isn't gonna get you anywhere. I'll let you go for now. Don't all right, so that won. finished him. This is all too easy. Look, even if you obey Sun Chen, you'll be executed for the slightest blunder. That's why you should join us instead. You're right. We're sick of living in fear of him. Okay, we're getting the whole Chuan clan to defect with that. What about this one? Oh, there's another messenger gonna kill. Okay, I get it. You're not as good as blocking as the other guy. Alright, so we're gonna get a defection after that as well. But there's still two more fortresses that are closed. Right, this one's not open, and the one in the north is not open. Will you allow me to join you? We'll open these gates for you. Please go ahead and enter. Ooh, the main camp door's open, huh? Okay. We gotta wait in. They, they allowed the enemy into my castle. A worthless army. I'm going to have your head. This is all too easy. All right, I guess the Wu forces are wiped so this is what with that. When I try and help Jugadon, this is the last time I'll ever cooperate with him. Uh, you speak as though you have control of that. Lord Jugadon, reinforcements have arrived from the north. He must have sent them for us. So it seems he was just as worried as I was. Open the gates, and let them inside the castle at once. You dog! What do you think you're doing? Who sent these reinforcements? You insult not only me, but also my master? You shall pay for this. Yet the execution happened, Father, which means... I suppose this means there is no longer any reason for Wait, I thought he defected last you're battle right. already. We should surrender to Wei. Yep. Wen Hu and Wen Yan both surrenders after the father's execution. Master Wen Qin has been killed by Zhuge Dong. These were following the storyline. reports of a quarrel taking place inside the castle. It's over rations. Zhuge Dong has killed Wen Qin. I'm so glad we're on the same side. You are unstoppable. 
I think we got everyone. Let's move on with the rest of the team. Ooh, almost lost the items there. They're so fast. It's as bad as you see. Could you please lend me a hand? I'm going to have your head. You I forgot which member of the Hu clan there actually no killed or took strategy. the castle in the end. But one of them. Alright, Mr. Reinforcement. Who are these guys? I'm curious too. Are you just gonna be question marks till the end? Oh, I must Lu Kong. So still Wu forces, I guess. You shall not get past me. Just you wait, There's Still a couple other mystery characters. I must fall back. Give me a name, please. You performed great as always. There was no need for my strategy. I don't think we got a name for the other two. Seems like a really random addition there. Alright, let's finish this. Fugudan's going down. There's no reason for us to obey Master Jugadan. We shall surrender to Wei. I represent a great moral cause. It is my duty to eliminate you. I suppose you must be happy, in a sense. Alright, let me get the items first and then we kill him. The truth. That was quite a spectacle. Truly amazing. But to be honest, I think the it's in story mode so far, at least for the most part. The historical accuracy is pretty good. Even though they change slight things, they capture like the essence of most of the battles. They're making Sima Zhao a bit too nice. Jia Chong, you know what he meant? One imbecile instigating another. Nothing more than that. Jia Chong picked up the essence of Sima Yi. This has made things much easier. I see. And I know nothing. Bury him with respect. I mean, it's just essentially the hero has to be nice. I think that's how it works for every single of the story modes, but it's fine. All right, let's see what else happens. Wen Qin gets killed. Wen Yan and Wen Hu rejoins Wei. So they're linking Zhuge Dan's rebellion directly to the Emperor to kind of explain the Emperor rebelling. Or not rebelling, but making a last stand. 
Tomo was pretty interesting. He was very talented. I think when I forgot who it was describing him in terms of like comparing him to past rulers, I think he was compared to be on par with Cao Cao and Cao Pi. Uh, but he was obviously very young, and at this point, Sima Zhao controlled the court. Uh, but he essentially approached his officials and said, Sima Zhao is here to take my throne. I'm not going to watch. I'm going to march to his estate and kill him. Who's going to come with me? And right after that, two of his officials ran directly to Sima Zhao to inform him <laughs> that the emperor is coming. And no one really helped the emperor, and he sort of marched down the street with his eunuchs to try to kill Sima Zhao. Obviously, that didn't work out, and we'll see his last stand next time. So until then, bye!